Hi everybody, I am doing a little nugget from Neville's Awakened Imagination. Really good book. So he says, the movement of every visible object is caused not by things outside the body, but by things within it, which operate from within outward. The journey is in yourself. You travel along the highways of the inner world. Without inner movement, it is impossible to bring forth anything. Interaction is introverted sensation. If you will construct mentally a drama which implies that you have realized your objective, then close your eyes and drop your thought inward, centering your imagination all the while in the predetermined action and partake in that action, you will become a self-determined being. So if there is something that you want today, something that you don't have, do this little thing. The journey is in yourself, as he says, and you travel along the highways of the inner world. I think that's so beautifully worded. So your inner movement has to occur first. You must have inner movement, meaning you've got to transition from problem thinking, problem feeling, because when you have negative thinking about something, you are usually have negative emotion attached to it. Like I haven't got X, more money, my amazing dream job, my wonderful relationship, I didn't get my ex back, whatever it is that you want, there is still the noticing and feeling because you're noticing it, the feeling that goes with it that you do not feel good about that subject. Now, you don't feel good because you focus on the problem, so you have to shift states, as Neville talks about, and start to live from it. So, it really is like in the example of me driving a car that I didn't own, as in, in imagination, I'd be driving the old car and then I would rub my hand on the steering wheel and pretend that I was driving the car that I wanted with my eyes closed for two seconds while I was a red, at a red light. So I will put that story down below for those of you that haven't heard of that manifestation. But at this time, it was incredibly challenging to be imagining something that I didn't have because I couldn't work out how I was going to attract the money to be able to drive it. Now, knowing about imagination, it's not about the money, it's about living in the end and you bypass all the bits in between, okay? So that is a crucial, crucial nut and bolt of how to create something. You bypass the how you're going to get there. You bypass the what can I do. You bypass, you literally go from I'm not driving the car to I am driving the car. You imagine yourself in it. You imagine looking out the windscreen. You imagine tooting the horn. You imagine using the electric windows. You imagine all the details that you can. In my case, I wanted a silver car and I wanted a luxury car. So I'll put that story down below, but getting into the state of I have this was what helped me to attract this car without any money. So I really love how Neville discusses this. Interaction is an introverted sensation. So I had the introverted sensation that I was already driving a car that I didn't have. How did I get into that state? I pretended I was inside it. How did I pretend I was inside it? I knew what it looked like because I'd seen some on the side of the road and I would have a look. I'd look up against the window and have a little, you know, look when no one was around. So he says, if you will construct a mental drama, which implies that you have realized your objective, so you create it with your eyes open, then you close your eyes and you drop your thoughts inward, which means you plant yourself in the scene. Okay, centering your imagination all the while in the predetermined action. So in my case, the predetermined action was I was sitting behind the driver's seat and I was looking out the windscreen and I was using the left-handed blinker because it's a European car, it's a German car. So, and I knew that. So it's 
knowing those little details so you can inject them into the imaginal scene, okay? So as he says, centering your imagination all the while in the predetermined action and partake in that action. So I was participating in the predetermined action, being in the car and driving on the road and partaking in that action, being in it, accelerating, braking, ee, 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 doing that, which you would do in any car, but it was the feeling of this solid car because I had a car that wasn't very solid and I knew the car I wanted was very solid and very secure because I'd been in one. So you will become a self-determined being. So it was self-determination and it was abandoning myself to the new car and deactivating old crappy car that really needs to go because it was in a bad condition by then. So there's a little Neville nugget for you from Awakened Imagination. Really enjoying rereading this book and a fabulous read. It's a very, very short book. For those of you that want to buy it, you're looking at 58 pages. So very short, as you can see, a little skinny. All right. That's it, everybody. Lots of love. And I'll put the Neville, Neville Nuggets. I always go to say Neville. Neville Nuggets playlist down below for those of you that haven't seen the others.